Hello everybody, welcome back to the Mega Modded Dead God Plus series. We are jumping in for yet another run. Let's see who we get this time. And we get Tainted Job, which we've actually done quite a few times. I realise the randomizer is kind of a little pointless in there because I keep just randomising other characters. But I'm trying to get characters I haven't played much before. Um, and the randomizer just kind of eases us into that. And I think Judas is a good one. We've only done a few bits as Judas. We can go Dark Path or Mother with him, whichever we prefer. Um, and Judas is just a lot of fun anyways. He's a, he's a little bit of a risky bisky to start with. Ooh, we might. If we live through this room, which is honestly debatable because these enemies are tough. Um, especially the stone dude. The stone dude can, can big, big heck off. But we get to go in here once we get a key and hopefully get bookworm. It's very unlikely that you get the single book room, so we should be okay for it. This is kind of a precarious room here. Um, oop. Just use that tower card in here. Oh my god. Okay, we'll, we'll pop the world. This gives us our secret room. The Emperor is... Actually, let's let's grab this first and maybe take use of it. Maybe take use of it. And actually... Ooh, there's some bombs. Good. We'll take Adjustment. That's pretty useful. It gives us two bombs. Uh, temperance is kind of whatever. I'll just plop it down and uh, blow it up. But yeah, just something I want to quickly do before we start off the episode, actually, is I recently asked in a video for some questions of the day. So why don't we go and take a little look at some of those? Let's have a little look-see. Um, see if we can find a good one here. Let's have a little look-see. I don't actually I don't know which video it was on now, because I'm not finding any of them. Hmm. I'm not finding... One second, I'm going to pause and then find one of them for you guys. Okay, I found a good one. Here we go. Uh, what is your favourite game for the community specifically? What is your favourite game that you just think has a really nice community? Because there's a lot of games that unfortunately, although good, have pretty bad communities. I'd say, <laughs> unfortunately, Isaac has kind of become one of those. I feel like my community around Isaac is pretty nice, but the overarching community around Isaac... Eh, it leaves a bit to be desired. I mean, we've seen a lot of drama and controversy, um, some of which BD1P has exposed. Uh, and yeah, there's, there's been a few a few bits here and there that haven't been so um, haven't been so nice. And then some people, we got your backseat gamers. I mean, I know Alexa specifically had a lot of trouble with backseat gamers and basically kind of killed the game for him in a way. Um, he he sort of said in his videos in the past that. Um, essentially, people backseating... One moment, I'm just going to shut Chrome down because it seems to be causing some lag. Um, there you go, that's better. Uh, yeah, um, he's, he's kind of said before that because of people backseating, it's just... He can't really read comments because every single person is just constantly just trying to point out all the mistakes he does. And pe he's had death threats because of mistakes he's made in videos and stuff like that. And it's just like... Who the fuck are you? What are you doing? Why? <laughs> also, no key so far, which is a little sad. Um, I might use uh, my tower card in that room if it sees fit. Now let's take out these guys. Just do that real quick. Oh, there you go. That's, that's actually not normally the result I like to see, but that's a pretty decent result there. Um, yeah, and I know that, like... Undertale is a game everyone loves, but I know the community in that game, for the most part, is absolute trash. Um, or at least in my opinion it is. It's I'm not a big fan of, of Undertale and Deltarune and all that sort of stuff, just because they're not my genre of game really anyways. But the community, oh, the community put me off so much. <laughs> um, it's the same with, with anime, really. I'm... I've, I'm, I've never been a big fan of anime style stuff, and I don't think I ever will be. I've been suggested a bunch of stuff. I've tried a few of them. It's just not really my sort of thing. The closest thing I've ever watched to anime is watching, like, the Pokemon series and Dragon Ball Z when I was a kid. And that's kind of about it. But, yeah, it's just... I feel like... Oh, what the hell? Uh, I feel like now it's just... I, I'm probably never going to get into it, just because... I feel like the communities are horrible. A lot of them are. Not all of them. I'm not saying every single one of them. I'm not saying anime as a whole. But I have a lot of people that you meet that like anime and want you to watch anime are obsessed with it. And it is their entire life story. And, like, I'm just going to go on a, 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 on a slight bit of a tangent rant here. Just because I feel it has to be said. 
Why does every motherfucker in the world have to make anime mods and Nico mods and stuff for games? Just go play another game. Like, I don't, I don't go fucking, I, I just don't get it. Like, you'll, you'll go through the fucking, um, mod workshop for Isaac, and there is just so many Toho, anime, Nico, fucking rabbit ears, cat ears, cat girl, re-sprites of every motherfucking thing. You don't see people going into Toho and re the entire game to look like the Binding of Isaac. You don't see people going into... I don't know what, I honestly don't know the name of an, any anime game, so this isn't really a great example, but you don't see people going into anime games and re the whole game to look like Enter the Gungeon or The Binding of Isaac. I just, I don't get it. Just go play something else. <laughs> Why do you have to have every single thing that you touch look like anime? I don't understand it. <laughs> it just, I just, like, personally for me, it is, it is a bit different because I really like, um... I really like the theming of Isaac, and I like games. Usually, I like games to stay on their intended theme. I, I like um, playing Into the Gungeon mods that that add things in that look like official Into the Gungeon sprites. And same with Banning of Isaac, and, and like, that's kind of a big tendency of mine. And I, I realize not everyone's like that. It is fine having stuff from other games or like kind of branching out. But when people are like respriting the whole game so that every fucking boss is a waifu and all the, all the Isaac characters have, like, anime hair. I just... What are you doing? <laughs> Go play something else. Find something that, that suits you. Why do you have to fucking make a game into, like, the biggest weeb game ever? I just... I, personally, I just don't get it. <laughs> I, I might be sounding quite jaded here. I might be sounding like an old man. I don't know. It's just... It just kind of baffles me. And it it doesn't just happen in Isaac, too. It's basically any single game that has a decently sized modding community. You can go play Skyrim, and people have basically made a ton of mods. I mean, Skyrim's a whole different story, because that has all sorts of mods, and some of them that aren't so PG. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. It's just, I, it, it baffles me sometimes. It baffles me. Goddamn. One moment. I'm going to just quickly try and tweak something here. Okay, there you go. But yeah, I'm sure there's probably some of you out there that are watching right now that are really into that sort of thing. And I don't really hold it against anyone. If, if that's how you want to play, then that's fine. I just don't get it myself. I just... Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't... I don't really understand it. I don't know why people... Like, it's not, like I said, it's not everyone, but I don't know why some people that are into that sort of thing have to make every single thing they touch into that sort of thing. I don't know. It's just... It's just strange. It's just strange to me. I probably sound like an old man, like I said, but hey her. That's just a small rant. It's just, it, the main thing for me is with Isaac and then other games, it's just I go onto the workshop and I want to find some cool mods that do some unique stuff to add to the series. And basically, almost every single mod you come across is either a meme mod or a, some version of an anime mod. And that's about it. And it's just like, god damn, we need filters for this stuff. We need a way to, like, get rid of this stuff out of the search engine. Because I just, I don't want to see it. <laughs> I don't, I'm never going to download it. And I don't care about it. Just show me the mods that are actually cool. <laughs> Ooh, we got Apology. Boy, oy, 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 oy. We'll go Devil Deal here. Just, not Devil Deal, Angel Deal. Because it's just, health isn't great right now. If I'd have gotten HP up there, I would have maybe, maybe switched over. We got another library, surprisingly. <sighs> I know I just said I was going to go Angel Deal, and I will hold off on... Wait a minute, we might as well use this at least. I will hold off on... Do you know what? Actually, let's carry this out and try and uh, get another charge for it. Um, I will hold off on Satanic Bible until the end of the floor, but I might take it. Oh, yes. Apology is insanely strong. I love it. Good, good, good. I'm trying to think of some other communities that I really like for... Uh, some, some of the games that I really like for their community. Um, I don't know. I feel like Skyrim has a pretty good community for the most part. I know that, like, it's not always all... Um, some, uh, all, like smiles and roses and i know there is like i said a very un pg part of that community but I feel for the most part it's decent uh, i'm gonna hold off on going to the shop just yet 
yeah, I, I don't know. There's, there's just, there's all, unfortunately, the bigger communities are, the, the louder the negative minorities can be. Um, like, I mean, like, even just, like, you look at, like, the Minecraft community. Minecraft, obviously, is a huge game. It's got a massive community. And it's not all that negative, but you hear a lot of negative things just because it's such a loud minority. And that minority is so large just because of the sheer size of the game. In comparison to the actual size of the audience of the game, there's really not that many. But when you, when you then, um, actually compare that to, um... Yeah, there you go. I just wanted to find out my secret rooms. Soul of Judas. Nice. Thank you. Unfortunately, a terrible secret room. Um, I think I'll just carry this with me now. But I'm not going to use it yet. I want to get an angel deal first. Before I use it. Which may seem like a bit odd. Because I might have to wait quite a while to use it. But I don't know. I still think it's a decent idea. I just don't want to get locked into Devil Deal while my health is still low. Oh, that is perfect. Thank you, Dry Baby. That saved me so much time on this room. Crack that open. I kind of want to get a red rune. Hey, there you go. I was about to say we haven't had a red rune yet. In fact, whoa, red rune's actually really good for us here. Red rune makes things into uh, locusts. And we actually have a really good usage for it right now because of that library. That's that's actually super, super opportune to get this at this time. There you go. Three locusts. That's beautiful. That is really nice. So we just got uh, quite a bit of extra additional damage on top of ourselves here. And also that all three of them are unique wisps as well. Uh, unique locusts as well. Um, I always call them wisps. It's... And my brain is easily confused. But yeah, so if someone could genuinely, like, explain that sort of... I wouldn't really call it a phenomenon, but explain that thing to me where, like, just everything gets, like, anime -ified or nico -ified or whatever. Kind of explain why that is, because I, I just don't understand it. Like I said, it might it might just be that I'm an old man. But I don't know. It'd, just be, it'd be interesting to find out. Okay, our damage is pretty good. This guy is a really, really tough um, eternal boss. He tends to just cover the entire screen in, um, creep. Ooh, I just realized. Because we, um, because we used the, the book that shields you. What the hell is it called? Book of Shadows. The, uh, the wisp is actually shielding. Okay, this is awesome. Um, I guess I'll just take this. It's not amazing, but I'll... I'll, I'll grab it, and then we can pop that. Should we try and just pop it at the end of each floor so we don't get locked into devil deals? That seems like a good idea to me, right? Um, and then we could go back for our shop, but honestly, it's too far away. Let's just keep our key, go to our item room, see if we get another key for this floor shop. But I suppose at the end of the day, like, as much as it's not my style and I don't really understand it, it is kind of the beauty of modding that you can do it. Like, you can change it into whatever you want. Like, that is a good thing. I, the, 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 the sort of, like, the adverse for me is it's just the, the case that, like, you basically see every single game do it with anime, where every single game has mods to change, change it into anime, but you never see the reverse. You never see any anime style or based games get a ton of mods that un-anime it, <laughs> if you know what I mean. It just never happens. But that might also just be because there's less anime mods and a lot less anime, a uh, lot less uh, anime, sorry, not anime mods, uh, a lot less anime games and a lot less anime games that have modding support. So that that could definitely be a part of it. Judas's tongue is actually a, maybe a really good shout here. Uh, that, that could end up saving us quite a lot of hearts. But like I said, I don't really actually want to take any devil deals. Ooh, that was perfect. Thank you. Oh, often sucks. Ah, you shit. I mean, I made this room, but still, you shit. I maybe should have Soul of Eden it, but that that would have re-rolled it out uh, out of being a um, actual um, secret room item, so maybe not. Often sucks is actually pretty good though. Being able to walk on spikes and stuff is nice. Okay, let's go back this way.
Yeah, it'd just, it'd just be nice if, like, Steam implemented filters to kind of remove that from your searches and stuff. But then again, I, I know that they, they can't really do that. But it'd be nice. <laughs> it would be nice. I don't, I also, I don't really know, uh, I don't even know why I went in here, but Star's car is kind of nice. Um, yeah, I, I don't really know, like, to be honest, I haven't had a look at the download numbers, what sort of percent of people are actually even using those sort of mods. It might be only a very small amount of people that actually care about those sort of things. I, I, I really don't know. It might be a lot less than I'm making it out to be. I, I mean, I feel like it has to be a decent amount, because like I said, the, the mods are everywhere. But it's, it's like, for example, um, I, I don't know how many of you are subscribed to SlayXC. SlayXC does some amazing videos, and he's been doing a lot of mod showcases recently. And he recently showcased the Toho mod. And oh my god, is that mod hella impressive. That mod is so, so impressive. But it's all just like, not, I don't even know if it's anime, but it's like sort of, it looks anime to me. Grant's, um, what? Grant's Flim Winter for the room? What the hell does that mean? Oh. Uh. Monstra... Monstrance? Fl Apparently that's Flim Winter? What the hell? <laughs> I don't know. Um, But yeah, like, I don't know if any of you saw that, but God diggity damn, that mod looks so impressive. But it's just, it's just... The theme of it is just not my style at all. I, like, I could never play Isaac with a mod like that. It just doesn't fit the game at all. It's not personally a style that I really enjoy either. And it's just like, ah, oh, I wish, I wish someone made that mod exactly, but with, uh, like, themed like Isaac, so it actually fit into the game well. I'd love the shit out of that mod if, if it just wasn't. And I have realized some people might just say, oh, we'll just look past the theme, but I don't know, I can't. I really like it when it, like I said, it, um, a mod actually um, fits into the theme of the game that you're playing. For me, at least, that's what I prefer. Um, but yeah, like, I will say, though, that mod is so impressive. Like, massive props to the developer of that. They have done an absolutely outstanding job of that mod. It is fantastic. Which is why I'm, like, s s like slightly annoyed that it's Toho themed, because it's like, ugh, I want to play it on the series, but I can't really. I mean, I, ca I technically can, but I won't. <laughs> And by the way, I do also realize for people out there that do like anime and are into it, I realize that I'm generalizing. I realize that not all of this stuff that I'm talking about is actually anime. I realize, I'm, I'm sure some of you uh, may be a little annoyed or offended that I'm just generalizing and categorizing everything as anime. I understand that it's not all, but just for simplicity's sake, because I don't actually know, I'm just calling it all anime. <laughs> Apologies if that ruffles some feathers. Right, let's check what's in here. Nothing for me. Do you know what I should do, actually? I'll do it after this room. I might I might try tweaking my anti-lag mod and see if I can uh, do some things to help out. That was kind of risky. Ooh, we got a red rune drop. Nice. Okay, um... I know it's there. Leave it there for now. Uh, yeah, let's, let me just have a look. See, it's not C, is it? It's L. Um, where is it? Oh, by the way, I got a new mod called Heart Tokens. It's r it looks really cool. Basically, um, it means that when you pick up red hearts for the lost, you st you get tokens so you can use um, blood donation machines and blood beggars, which is really cool. Um, Wait, where is it? I thought it was here. Small Lilith, Patched Hearts, Regret, Tarot Cloth. What the heck? I, I, I definitely have it on, right? Oh, clear tier button. There it is. Um, clear tiers every X seconds. Okay, I could... I could put that on, I guess. That might help. Let's 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 try it. Let's let's try put that on and see if it helps at all. Um, I don't know if it's gonna make the gameplay a little awkward. Let's 
just do every five seconds for now and see how that works. I don't see it interrupting the... Okay, actually, no, I do. It does interrupt the flow of my tears firing. That's not great. I'll, maybe I'll just see if I get a powerful build and then put it on them when it's actually a bit more relevant and useful to us. But right now, it's not super important. I just want to try and reduce lag as much as humanly possible. I want to be able to record smoothly. For you guys and for me, it just... I think, like I said before, like, one of the only sort of tiring things for me about playing Isaac is the lag. If, if, the, if, the, if the game... Oh, wait, is it still clearing my tears? Oh, no, it was just the end of the room. Um, if the game ran like it did with no mods on, it would be so much easier to play. Because, for one, the runs wouldn't be anywhere near as long. Because one of the reasons that my runs often go so long... Um, is my game is running at literally half speed, so it takes twice as long to do everything. Um, so it makes runs way less long. And yeah, it just it just be a little less frustrating to play sometimes. I feel like, for the most part, it's fine. Like, right now, my game's running at 48 as opposed to 60. And it's noticeable, but not annoying. Like, I can still play just fine like this. But when it dips below sort of 40, once it gets down to, like, 30, it really starts to feel a bit annoying. So many explosives, holy shit. I'm hoping I can use this Soul of Eden on something useful at some point. Not really had anything I can use it on yet. Crap, crap, crap. Oh, this guy's invisible, what the hell? That's a bit cheeky, sir. Lots of eternal bosses today. Okay, though, these eternal uh, dips don't seem to do too much. I think they just drop x lax poop when they die, which is kind of what this boss already does, so. Yeah. Okay, that's a Soul of Eden uh, usage, potentially. Oh, Glyph of Balance, hell yes. Um, yeah, let's do that. Dunce Cap, you say. Dunce Cap, you say. Yes. You may be asking, why? Why would you do that to yourself? And my hope is that I get some form of homing. <laughs> or tractor beam or something, I don't know. My hope is that I find a way around it. That's not secret room. It's definitely a bad idea. But it does give a spectral. Spectral is kind of nice. Makes it a little less painful. That's really nice. This is one of, like, sort of the unsung heroes um, for me. One of these items that's just insanely good that people don't think about. It literally reveals every secret room for the entire run and gets you in them for free. It saves you so much time and so many bombs over the course of a run. It's incredible. Ooh, a golden penny is a room reward here as well actually get as an item, I think, if it gets us up to 15 cent, which it is going to. I'm just going to come back after I've bought some stuff here. Good. Hello, sir. Um, I guess I can go with starter deck. It's not incredible, but it can be pretty good. Uh, I guess we'll take this as well. Saves us some keys. I don't know how much more I'm going to play this Golden Penny, I'll be honest. There's also another mod I might get that, like, makes pickups drop faster. That seems like a kind of useful, interesting one. That's a lot of bombs. I keep forgetting we've got Mum's Key, so we're getting a lot more, uh, a lot more drops from things. Right, let's get out of here. Skedaddle, skadoodle. Yeah, I, I don't want to, like, I really don't want my, uh... My comments to feel like a an angry old man rant, and I, I realise that they probably come off that way to anyone that likes that sort of stuff, but I don't know, it's just something that's been sort of on my mind just because it's everywhere when, you go, when you're looking for new mods, which I pretty much do on a daily basis at this point. 
I'm always looking for new mods to add to the series. And by the way, for those of you that don't know, and I've had comments about this before, the mod, um, the mods that I use are linked in collections, three separate collections in the description. One for game fixes, one for improved characters, and another. Do you know what? I'm gonna pop Satanic Bible and get some Devil Deal items here. Oh no, it's Necro too. It doesn't matter. Um, still, it's worth using now, anyways. Um, and one for just general game upgrades. I update it pretty much every single day when I add new mods. If you want to see my mod list, if you want to see the new things I'm using, check it out. It's always there and good to go. The 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 one one caveat I will say, I, I don't know my my voice died then. One caveat I will say is none of my graphical mods are in those collections just because I have. Oh, thank you. Um, just because my graphical mods are all um, in one folder, because basically. Uh, for one, it lets me pick and choose between different mods. I can, like, select different files from different mods, which is really nice. Um, but, like, like different item resprites. But also, it reduces lag on the game load, uh, having less mods for the game to load. If people want that, by the way, people do want... Um... Yeah, I'll grab that. If people do want that file of the of the resprites I use, please let me know, and I'll... I'll, if I remember, I'll upload it to my Discord in the um, Isaac Repentance channel and pin it. If I remember. But pl please do let me know and I'll, I'll give that a go. Because, yeah, I, I, I do have a pretty decent list of resprites that aren't in the um, in the collections. The main reason they're not in the collections, you may think, why not just add to the collections anyways? Whenever I want to reinstall all of my um, all of my mods, if it like to clear out lag, sometimes it's better to just reinstall all your mods every now and again. Um, if I was to keep all of my visual mods in those collections, it would reinstall all of the graphic mods again, which I don't want to do. So I've had to remove them from the collections to avoid that. Um, I suppose I could just put them in. Um, in a separate collection that I then don't install that's just for graphics mods, but I don't know, that just complicates things, I think. Um, and also, I've already, what's done is done, I'm already too late now. <laughs> um, but yeah, if people, if people want to see that, that'd be that'd be easy for easy enough for me to do, so I wouldn't mind doing that, because I do have quite a few different graphical mods here and there, and item resprites, and like I said, I've picked and choose my favourites from different mods. Um, I think there's about... 10 or so different item resprite mods that I've sort of selected different parts from and different items from because some of them I like more than others. Some of them I only like one item resprite from it and stuff like that. It's it's a difficult balance to, to, to strike, but best way to do it for me. Ow. Ow. Isaac's Jar of Tears. God damn it. Oh, I just used my air wash room by accident. Did not mean to do that. Could have used that for a crawl space. I love the fact that the buff to We Need to Go Deeper actually affects air wash runes as well. So good. I think we got a uh, solar blue baby in that room back there. Oh, Lord. <laughs> so much blood. Yeah, solar blue baby. Qu -qu -qu question mark. Ow. Ow. God damn it. Yeah, I think we're going. Yeah, we're going dark path this time around. But every single boss has been eternal so far. What the hell's going on, game? I do not respect it. By the way, I think at some at some intervals here, I'm probably going to use my bombs to open up doors. I, I think that's what it said that they do, but I've not really been paying attention, I'll be honest. By the way, as well, ju just just as a blanket statement, not many of you do this. It's a, it, I've only really had a few comments like this, but just as a general statement, some people will comment and be like, Oh my god, you did this wrong here. Oh my god, you didn't, you forgot about this and you min max this. Almost always, I know, and I don't care. <laughs> like, I do not min max the game. I just play it how I play it, and it, it it goes down how it goes down. What's what's this? 
Oh, Bully Lust, okay. I'll take Bully Lust. Yeah, I play how I play, and it goes down how it goes down. <laughs> most, of the po most of the time, I'm not really looking to min-max. I might miss a Tinted Rock. I might forget about an item, or if I don't realize it, and I still win, then who cares? And if I lose, it's normally not because of that. But I mean, it could be. What, why have we... Oh my god, I was like, why have we got so, so much damage now? And I think it's just um, from Pentagram there. It's pretty good. But yeah, speaking of, I might do a I might do a mod reinstall after this episode and see if that fixes much. I might also see if there um, see if there's anyone out there that oh god that can um, help me reduce lag a little bit. See if anyone on the uh, Isaac modding Discord can give me a, a helping hand. There's some nice folk over there. There might not be a guaranteed fix. This might just be how it has to be, but it'd be nice if there was. Can you stop, sir? I can't hit you. He was just moving perfectly alongside me. Ow, God damn it! I'm taking way too much damage at the minute. Good, good. Got some flies for the boss at least. It is the blur. Everything's got creep. It's so annoying. Oh my god, I was so close to being hit by that creep then. Excuse me, this is way too close for comfort, my good sir. Yeah. Brimstone, baby. I mean, it's a bit risky, but I can't not take it. Hey, that makes it less risky. Um, When Dead Respawn as Dark Judas. Have we done much as Dark Judas? I... See, I don't know what the Dark Judas' completion marks are. I'm going to take it, and if we die, we die. If we don't, we don't. But I'm already Judas, so I don't know what we have as... Wait. No. I think Dark Judas just has Judas' unlocks, and we're already playing as Judas. So I don't think it changes anything. I was thinking it'd be Tainted Judas, but that's not how that works, is it? Oh, bugger. I forgot about this. <laughs> I was like, yeah, this will be good. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Leave that there. Come in here. Grab this. Yeah, I forgot I forgot it'd be angled brimstone. Shit. Not very convenient. We do also have the flies that fly straight regardless, which is nice. This bugger again. Oh dude, you gotta be kidding me. That's fine, that's fine. We got the item. So yeah, we still got the same completion marks. We just have to be quite careful. We just have to be quite careful. Yeah, it's kind of nice. I mean, we do also have a nice way of getting back HP here, so that's not so bad. And Bookworm is, is providing some extra damage with the doubled Brimstone Beams every now and again. Oh, you... Those little nubbins, they hit me so often, I never see how. Come on, secret room. Provide. That's not providing. That's annoying. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Double troll bombs? Oh my god, no. No double troll bombs. But I will... I'm going to take the other one outside and get a crawl space instead. Right, where's, where's a, a floor bit that I can use this on? I need a floor decal, but I, I don't know what the utero decals are. That's one, right? Yeah. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> so useful. Piercing. Oh, that was so close to me getting hit there. Like I said, I need to be way more careful. Yeah, we're going the right way this way anyways. Let's take a trip back down this way.
Crossfire things are not good for us because we're at the same angle trying to fire back. Seraphim's honestly doing a good job of holding its own right now. Oh, that's nice, that's nice. I actually think Chewed Pen is a good thing here. I'm, as long as it actually works, which I don't 100% know if it will. That was close. That room was a little scary. Okay, health is actually looking pretty good now. Excuse me. I was like, why is my fire rate so bad? Then realized most of my fire rate actually comes from um, Apology. Because it gives us an insane bonus, to be honest. This is a really precarious fight with um, Shoop. Not Shoop, what the fuck's it called? Dunn's Cap. We have to stand, stand at a really awkward angle. It's actually not so bad because we, we can still get distance away from her, but it's not ideal. We've already done Hush, so there's no point in doing Hush fight anyways. It's too bad we didn't do Boss Rush because I think we're missing Boss Rush. We are, yeah. It's too bad we didn't do Boss Rush. I should have had a look at that before we uh, started here. Okay, one of these guys, yeah, is eternal, so keep that in mind. I actually have been really liking the eternal enemies mod. It it, it has interjected just the right amount of difficulty. It's, it's exactly what, what I was looking for, really. I did think it'd be a bit too much, um, or a bit too, like, outside of vanilla. But honestly, it, it, it works. It works. Some some runs like this one, we end up getting quite a lot of eternal enemies and quite a lot of eternal bosses, for that matter. Uh, but other ones, it's, it's not so bad. Okay, that was nice. It's only really the end game bosses being eternal that makes a difference. TM Trainer. Now, we don't actually have any way of grabbing that right now, but you best believe if I do get a chance to grab it, I damn well will. This is bad. This is really bad. Yeah. Those things always hit me. One moment. Oh god, there's something playing on my phone. Do 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 do. Need to open something up one second. I closed something on my phone. I didn't mean to. I need to see if I get any notifications while I'm recording this. I doubt this is going to be the way that we need to be going here, but I'll... Yeah, it's definitely not, unfortunately. Oh, lord, that thing's fast. TM Trainer, you mock me. I want you so bad. Although, TM Trainer's kind of a weird one. I have had it crash my game when I pick it up a few times. This is scary with all these missiles coming down. Spawns a sewing machine. Nice. Ooh. Get you fully upgraded. Nice. That was pretty good. Pretty good use of a sewing machine there. Anzos and Yera. Yeah, the slowing has worked from Chewed Pen. I'm trying to use Dry Baby whenever I can to block shots here. He's a little bit tough to use, but if you line him up just right, he's not bad. Also, these Holy Light shots are uh, doing a good job here. Dry Baby, my protector. Kind of works really well, actually, this. Not going to work quite so well in the second phase, though. Damn it. And I say I need to get kills, otherwise I keep messing up my timing with my shots. Because my, my fire rate just keeps changing so rapidly. I keep sort of letting go of the, the, um, the button a little bit early each time. 
God damn, the bomb flies are so frustrating as this dude. There you go. The, the, at least they kill him. At least they do damage to him. All right, through we go. I will check all my devil deals and Yera them. It might not be a great idea, but I'm going to do it anyways. So let's uh, Anzus to start. And Yera. And we'll just see if we get anything amazing. Damocles doesn't really do much for us. It's so far, not so good. Mega Blast is potentially okay. The only thing is it pluses on low health. And... It's 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 potentially good, but I don't think it's great. I just think we're going to get hit through it quite a lot. And we at least have a way of regaining HP with our current setup. That's a lot of shots coming my way. Milk. Midas touch. Oh, you... Those things are the worst. Telefragging little fuckers. A regular Loki ain't so bad. Oop. One second. Okay, I've got a few... I've only got a few minutes left here, so I'm going to have to be a bit more speedy. Tell you what I could try, actually. Let's uh, see how quickly you get through these rooms here. See how quickly I get through these rooms. I might. I don't know. I was, I was going to say I could go back for uh, Mega. But that might not be the greatest idea, actually. Oh, God. This, this room is going to get me killed. There's going to be so many brimstones going off. It's going to be crazy. Oh, God. The fire rate. Yeah. Okay, that was nice. Eternal Heart's kind of good. Oh, God. This room's, this room's crazy. There you go, there you go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I might actually grab that, uh... It's a risky thing to grab. But I might actually grab that. And see if it can help us out. What in the F is going on in here? I got hit by something. This is like just every single keeper ever. I can't even see if the spider's in the room. Okay, I don't even know why I'm doing this, I'll be honest. Right, let's go back through here. Let's pop this. It might not work. I'm just thinking maybe it'll give me an advantage here. And I'm just going to pop bombs everywhere. I'm not super confident on this, just because the angles I've got to be at are really weird. Very weird indeed. Is he gonna? Yeah, I was gonna say he's gonna spin it, isn't he? It's going pretty well, to be honest. Surprisingly so. And honestly, the bombs are doing such a good job right now. There you go. Beautiful. That was a pretty good victory. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this one. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.